Welcome back to the channel. In this episode, uh, we're going to go over a car that we're uh, currently in the middle of a build, and it is a, a Fairthorpe Electron. If you don't know what that is, you are not unique. Nobody knows what this is. Um, I had actually never heard of one until it came to us. So uh, it is a handmade car uh, chassis with a uh, fiberglass body on it. Um, it's worth looking up and doing the research and doing the read on. It's, it's kind of fun. Uh, the gist of it is, though, is a uh, handmade chassis uh, that was uh, originally made very economically in the first place. And it, and it didn't um, survive well. This one's got some rust and some uh, damage, some, I think some collision damage and, and whatnot. But bad enough that it made sense for us to just build a new chassis. It's not a complicated one. Um, and because it was simple, we thought, let's just go ahead and do a safe, uh, complete new uh, build and uh, underpinnings for this. And so that's what this one is. And this is uh, our version. We are upgrading it. It has some deficiencies in the design and the fabrication. They were done to, I, I don't know, economical reasons, I guess. Um, but they were definitely weak. Uh, one of them was how they were controlling the, the rear end, and they had this odd trailing wishbone set up on the rear suspension, uh, and we've gone with uh, uh, trailing arms and uh, a panhard, a pretty simple solution to make it a lot more stable. So we're doing a lot of things like that uh, to, to improve things along the way, both in the front and rear suspension. Uh, right now, the, this, this is a section of the body, um, cowl or scuttle, and we've got it sitting on here now so we can set the, the steering height uh, and the location, verify the location of the pedals on the floor. Uh, so this is just sitting on here now uh, uh, for uh, testing purposes. So this is kind of a fun one. It's pretty simple and, and a weird little car. We were also motivated to beef it up a little bit as well as um, we're building the engine for this as well. Uh, this has a 1300 Triumph engine in it, uh, which can produce quite a bit of power, and this thing's not going to weigh much, so we wanted to make sure it was safe and, and solid. Uh, a few of these were, very few of these were built with a, uh, a Coventry uh, Climax engine, which is, from a rare and cool point of view, um, you know, the thing to have. Uh, but if I was going to drive it, I'd do the Triumph. It's a good bottom-end torquey motor and be a lot of fun. So uh, this is, the whole body's fiberglass and it sits uh, on top of the chassis, almost, uh, well, like a golf, almost like golf cart-like. Uh, there's not a lot of uprights that uh, go up and support the body. I think we're going to add some. Uh, so our version here will be slightly heavier, uh, certainly heavier duty and safer, It'll be a little bit heavier, but it's so light already, it's not going to make any, any damn difference, and we're going to pump the motor up a little bit anyway. So it, what it should come out being is pretty damn entertaining and a fun little car that nobody knows what it is. So um, always a good time at the gas station trying to explain uh, what it is you're driving. So anyway, I think that's it and uh, we'll see you on the next one.